Alright guys, welcome back to another Ray video today. In today's video, I want to do an early showcase for our Christmas fusion. Alright, this is once a year thing. And which faction is he from? Let me guess. Alright, not here. Oh, he's a skinwalker. Alright, this is a rat king here. King of the rats. Very cool looking. Alright, very cool looking fat rat. Attack based champion with force affinity. If we look back the history of racial legends, I believe 2019 we have Tormund, which is absolute top tier. And 2020 we have. Who did we get? Did we have Pixneal? 2021, who did we get? I don't I don't remember. <laughs> so I don't think, like the for the past three years, the only decent one is probably uh, Tormund. Alright. Um. And this one, like I, I can't say he's not good because I'm on test server. I already test him out, and I'm gonna show you guys this champion. All right. Uh, in case you guys aren't familiar with his skill kit, he's basically a bomb champion, bomb and poison. Uh, attack three out enemies at random. Each hit has fifty percent chance of placing a bomb debuff for two turns. This is a very solid A one. All right, three hit. You can place up to three bombs on an A1 skill, very cool. And the bomb debuff placed by this skill on an enemy whose max HP is equal or higher than 200,000 will deal double damage. So the moment I read this part, I instantly know this this dude is just not for PvP, right? It's very obvious, like which PvP champion, which arena champion is gonna have 200,000 or more HP. It's not gonna happen. So you don't even need to test him out in arena. He's just not an arena champion. Alright, then let's take a look at the A2. Attack all enemy, place decrease attack. Also place also has 75% chance to decrease detonation countdown of bomb by one turn. This is very, very good. Alright, and increase duration of all poison debuff, debuff by one turn. Very, very good because it pairs so well with his A3, which is attack all enemy. 100% chance to place two bomb, alright, and then gain an extra turn. So this is two turns duration of bomb, and he gets an extra turn to so he can use A2 to decrease the countdown of the bomb by one turn. So this is just synergized very well. And and for the A3 here, it also has this part which deals the bomb is gonna deal double damage if the target has 200,000 or more HP. Alright, so. Yeah, and uh, oh, this passive is very important. Every time a bomb debuff placed by this champ is detonated or is removed, it's going to place two five percent the uh poison debuff for two turns. These debuffs are protected. All right. Um. So I think you can try to use this one against a Mithrala. Possibly, if Mithrala cleans it, he's gonna put four poisons on the enemy team. But I mean, still. Poison, I don't think it's very significant. It doesn't do significant damage in arena, but we can uh, test him out in PvE area first, then we can give him a try in PvP. Alright, so I have fully geared him. Damn, I, I'm telling you guys, I really wish one of the four uh, new Void Legendary is gonna be our Christmas fusion, right? Why not give us a Void fusion? So this is the gear I put on this guy. How do you even say his name? Nishak. Vermin Lord. Alright, very cool. So as a bomb champion, obviously you just need very high attack and decent accuracy. I think for accuracy requirement for dungeons, you only need 250. So you probably don't need don't even need a accuracy banner to achieve 250 accuracy on dungeons. Right? So let's just get into uh let's get into dungeons. Let's do dragon, the easiest one, right? And I have test, I have tested him out, and I'm gonna tell you guys, like I tried to use this dungeon to solo the stage 25 in a regeneration set. He can't do it. All right, I'm just gonna tell you, he can't solo it. I have to pair him with another champion, preferably an arbiter, which is very accessible. All right, increase attack and revive. Uh, this is attack based champion. He is super squishy, so. At least I cannot use him to solo the dungeon. All right, so let's let's take a look. But I mean, use two champions to duel this dungeon. Uh, it's not really a bad choice, right? Because 
if you think about it, which champion is solo dungeon? Like Bad Alcazar, Theodore, right? As a fusion champion, if you can use two champions to clear a dungeon, I think it's good enough. Uh, you just build this Rat King with high attack and um, decent accuracy, and that's it. Look at this. This poison debuff is protected. It's very cool. They cannot remove it. All right. Second wave here. Look at all these bombs. Very cool champion. Look at this. All right, they're gonna take a lot of uh, poison damage. All right, look at all these debuffs, and he died. That's why he, this dude is just too squishy, like really, really too squishy. Come on, Arbiter, come on, revive my dude here. Come on, revive my dude, all right? Looks cool here. Let me put some bombs here. That's why we're gonna take two minutes to finish this run. I'm gonna put a lot of poison on, on the boss. A lot of poison. Let's see? And he's almost gonna die again. Alright, come on, don't die. Please don't die. Alright, still alive. Look at all these protected poison. Alright. Because on test server, uh, Playroom didn't give the content creators the blessing for these champions. So maybe you can use that blessing that increased his poison damage in arena, and maybe you can give him a try in arena. Anyways, we're gonna test him out in arena in this video. Alright. Look at all these poisons. All right, next turn dragon is dead. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I think maybe it's okay for a fusion champion, especially if you're a new or mid game player. At least you can just use two champion to clear dragon. Uh, right, stage 25, it's not bad. Not everybody is gonna have bad Alcazar or a Theodore. I think he can also do Ice Golem. All right, I think he can do it. Let's give it a try. I think he can do it. Definitely not doable in fire, a fire knight, right? A lot of poisons. Yeah, I think he can do it. I think he can also do uh, ice golem. Don't die yet, please. Yeah, it's not very fast. That's something that's for sure. All right. We're gonna test him out in every area of the game. Don't worry, guys. Dude, I'm gonna die here. Oh no. And he's if he's dead, his passive is not gonna proc. They are not gonna have the poisons. Okay, come on, don't die. Don't die yet. Alright, so finally got to the boss after one minute. Super squishy champion. Don't die, please. Oof, that heal reduction is huge. And I'm getting one shot. Don't get one shot, dude. Please don't get one shot. Don't die. Oh, that poison, that heal reduction is killing me here. All right, I'm dead again. But Arbiter is gonna revive him. Look at all these poisons. Alright, now the poison is gonna take down the boss, I believe. Yeah, I think he can do it. Just two men. You need a reviver and uh, ideally attack up. You probably don't even need attack up because I think most of his damage actually comes from poison, not the bomb. Alright, 
bomb is not gonna do a lot of damage so yeah it's it's kind of weird for him in, in in pve i feel like why not just give him the poisons instead of bomb right just make it like a pure poison champion all right that's it uh two minutes 30, 30 seconds it's basically the same speed as uh dragon so like i wonder if he's good in hydra all right we're gonna find out but honestly uh, like i just showcased right this is basically a poison champion it looks like he's a bomb champion but he's a poison champion really right the poison is gonna do much much more damage than the bomb because if this uh detonated if the poison is detonated or removed he's gonna place four poisons all right it's actually a lot so let's see this is hydra all right uh let's see poison sorry bomb i don't think bomb is gonna do a lot of damage but we, we're gonna test him test it out all right no worries let's see how much damage all right so i see 114,000 per poison all right 114,000 per, per poison um it's actually not that bad it's actually not that bad because he can place eight poisons let me do a quick math eight times 114,000 is roughly uh 900,000 on a3 which is not bad but the problem is you re you really don't want these poisons to take up the space from your debuffs because you can have a maximum 10 debuffs at the same time right so it's not really a good thing and poison is basically useless in hydra right i guess the bomb damage is actually decent with my gear it's 90 900,000 with eight bombs it's not that bad so but I, I, again at least on my account i'm not gonna use him in hydra all right there's just no there's just no reason to so one more place we're gonna test him out that is sand devil's necropolis let's actually pick a relatively easier stage all right i'm actually wondering if you can uh put him so on his skill kit it says uh the poison is protected right i wonder what that means all right if the boss doesn't have sleep can he still place the poison on the boss very interesting uh question here let's find out all right what does it mean for a debuff to be protected all right so i'm gonna let the boss one shot me this is just my free to play uh stage stage 25 team all right so wait valkyrie is still alive it's weird don't die yet okay so i'm going to put bomb on the boss wait the boss resisted my bomb dude so uh sorry 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 for wasting one minute of your time let's go into a much easier st uh, stage all right let's, let's actually go into an easier stage so for stage 16 i don't think the boss has this type of resistance on stage 16 right so i'm just gonna let the boss one shot me come on one shot me here okay and i'm here let's do this see the bomb all right i placed one bomb all right so let's wake him up oh no the poison is not there all right so let's try it again uh, i actually want to wait until the boss use the cleanse all right we're gonna wait a little bit here Let's not use it. Let the boss one shot me. Let's revive. And uh, you know what? Let's not use it. All right, let's not use it. Okay, so the bomb is on the boss, but the boss is gonna cleanse. All right, so the bomb is gone. And right, we're gonna put more bomb on the boss. So no worry. No worry. Sleep on the boss. Let's do this. Alright, last one. Alright, one bomb. Let's do the detonation. Nah, you cannot. 
Alright, basically you cannot. If the boss doesn't have sleep, you still cannot put a uh, protected debuff on the boss. So, no reason to use him in Sand Devil's Necropolis, basically. Alright, then uh, let's go into the last part, which is Arena. Um, <laughs> My gut feeling tells me that he is not going to work. Alright, but we're gonna give him a try. We gotta give him a try here. Alright, so let's try YST here. Um, I'm going to use a Waller here. I don't really need a buff strip, right? I don't really need a buff strip. Uh, let's see if it's gonna work. I hope it works. Alright, the Bomb and Poison. Let's put their skill cooldown. Wait, that just actually resisted it. That's interesting. Let's decrease the countdown here. Wait, why is that Leo is almost dead? <laughs> Does this Rat King actually has good multiplier? It's a high resistance Duchess. Interesting. Okay, let's do more damage. Come on, show me more damage. That Duchess has really high res uh really high resistance. Alright, 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 come on. <laughs> Block skill? I'm gonna target that Duchess. Alright, let's not waste time here. Alright. <sighs> Can I just find a team with lower resistance, please? This sound this looks okay, alright? This is definitely a low resistance team. Let's, let's test it out. And my my warlord got uh oh, oh no, look at that. Let's see this. Again, high resistance duchess. And oof, at least I'm doing a lot of damage. Yeah. Looks okay. Wow, look at all these bombs. <laughs> Lydia's alive because of the polymorph. That's the only reason Lydia's alive. Alright, A1 poison. That's cool. Come on, just die here. Okay. Yeah, I, I have like 300 uh, accuracy on him. So <laughs> it's really hard for me to place debuff, to be honest. Alright, so can we find some like really zero resistance team for real? Alright, Victor here. <laughs> Can we try this one? Let's try this one here. Alright, so I can't put it on Cupidus, but let's try other three champions, right? Alright, some bombs here. Probably I will get one shot. <laughs> no. I'm getting one shot here. Come on, just die. Die, die. And ultimate death knight. Oof, that's the damage of one bomb. Okay, that Cubitus is gonna be annoying. I don't think I can kill that Cubitus, to be honest. Alright, I'm just gonna quit. So, wait. The game just lagged out. Alright, so I think he has potential in Arena. Alright, he does have potential Arena. Uh, at least this is a bomb champion. But if we are just talking about pure bomb, alright. If we're just talking about pure bomb, I don't think you need him. There are so many good bomb champions in the game for Arena right now. And uh, for this dude... Like, you, there's just no way you can do double damage in Arena. Like, nobody's gonna have 200,000 HP in Arena. So... Yeah, um, I, I guess he's okay if you're, like, not super endgame like me. He can help your account a little bit in PvE dungeons, alright? And otherwise, what do you guys think? I, I don't know what to say about him. He's okay, I guess, but I just, it's just someone that I'm not really uh, gonna play around with because he just has no place on my account, basically, right? So, probably good for you, it's possible, alright? So, that's it for this showcase. Hope you guys find it informative, and I'll see you guys in a video soon.